counties highlighted in red there, and there's even uh, an indication there of the rotation with that particular storm in question. This storm has quite a history of severe weather. This evening, we've been seeing it produce from time to time, hail up to about an inch in diameter, and it continues to move rapidly off to the northeast. So, bottom line, those of you in White Lake, take shelter now. Hollister, take shelter now. Markton, take shelter now. Uh, this has been a rather persistent, tornadic signature with this particular storm. I can tilt it back three-dimensionally and uh, maybe even get rid of some of this uh, precipitation here, and you'll be able to see uh, that it indeed it, it, you know, has a very good indication here of, of what quite possibly is a tornado, if not yet, certainly in the development stages with that rotation extending from the ground up into at least the mid-levels of the storm. So we'll have to continue to watch to see if that uh, little cylinder becomes higher. If it starts linking up with higher levels of the atmosphere, that certainly would be a, an indication of a, of a tornado there. So uh, this the Gamey County and this one again will be traveling. And now you have a shear marker there with that particular storm, so that concerns me greatly. Uh, that's just the west of Clintonville. In fact, if we go, go uh, back over to Pinpoint Digital Doppler, we're probably going to be able to get you a better view here and uh, perhaps even track out that storm for those of you with this particular cell. Again, a quick reminder for those of you just joining us, we have a tornado warning, the first one of the season. It is for the southeastern corner of Langley County and northwest Menominee County. And although it is not official, I'm throwing in the northwestern corner of Volcano County because that storm is headed in your area. Getting back to miles per hour. Now there's some welcome news on that particular sweep. We've lost that indication of some of the lower level locks or the rotation down near the surface. However, and there it returns. I was just going to say I've watched this thing long enough over the years to realize that you can't be fooled when those uh, markers disappear for one sweep because they may pop in the next time the radar beam goes around. Um, so that's certainly the case there. Uh, some welcome news though. We have lost that lock on uh, twisting winds down across northern portions of Wapaka County and southern portions of Shano County. But again, we'll continue to watch that storm very carefully. I'll see if I can retrieve a few more towns here out of the computer. Part of the problem is that's a somewhat sparsely populated portion of the viewing area, so the computer's not always good at drawing uh, towns out there, but certainly Townsend and Lakewood, the storm just about on top of you right now, you are for sure are hearing the thunder. Maybe you've already got the rain there. But again, this storm too, if I project it a little bit further into the future, will uh, take that storm right into portions of Marinette County as well. I'm trying to extract a few more places there, but again, uh, no luck. But we'll keep tabs on that. Oh, here comes some, and they just haven't updated on the screen. Uh, let's see here. Dunbar, 847. Amberg, 846. Beecher at 852. Pembine at 856. The storm will be in your vicinity. And again, remember, this is a storm that is still producing hail and also has a history of producing a possible tornado. In fact, if we go back over to Viper, uh, I'm Right now, there has been a, a, a confirmation at 7.45 this evening at uh, 10 miles to the north-northwest of Neopet in Menominee County, there was indeed a funnel cloud sighted by the public. So that was uh, about half an hour ago when that storm was over Menominee County. As we've been telling you, uh, there's been some indication on Doppler radar of a possible tornado, and now we're getting confirmation from eyewitness accounts that there was indeed a, uh, uh, a funnel cloud associated with that particular storm. We continue to watch it carefully, and with Viper, we see these signs of rotation coming in going, uh, though the storm is not quite as well organized as it was just half an hour ago, but it still is a ferocious thunderstorm, and that's why the tornado warning has been issued. Mainly, uh, all of Ocano County is showing up here, but it's mainly for the northern half of your county until uh, 8.30 this evening. 